Hello everyone, today we're going to take a look at some mobile app design and specifically we're going to create a map that is expandable. What I mean, mean by that is, um, let's say you have an interface where there's a small map that shows, for example, your position and it has a, an option to expand it, uh, basically to go full screen mode. So today we're going to do that. I have um, this placeholder of a map prepared right here. So this is just a generic image of a map. And the first step we're gonna do is selecting the frame tool by pressing F on my keyboard. And you can see that I get all these options for a phone layouts. So I'm gonna go for iPhone 11 Pro and it's gonna create this frame right here. I'm gonna name this map. Um, collapse and what we're gonna do now is sorry about that we're gonna call this a sample app right and now what we're gonna do now is take the width of the screen which is 375 pixels and create a frame that's a bit smaller than that so 375 but with 20 pixels from each side let's say that would be minus 40 so that's 335. This is going to be called map component and this map component will be about this big. So think so think uh, this is a map, a small map on a screen that with the option to go uh, full screen essentially. We're going to now take this map, command X, paste that inside this little frame. Right, so this is the base for our component. We're going to also use the ellipse tool and then press enter to access the vertices. What I'm doing here right now is creating a, just very quickly creating a um, position icon essentially. So this will show our position on the map. I'm gonna take this, then create an ellipse. It's smaller than that. It will be like 50 pixels. I'm gonna center this and then select both of these, subtract selection, right? Maybe circle should be a bit smaller right so this is going to be placed within the component as well within the um, frame and it's going to be red it's going to we're going to select a color that looks nice so let's go for this for example right shadow so that it looks nice and we're going to make that this shadow doesn't look nice at all so i'm going to reduce the opacity and now what we're going to do now is actually selecting this frame and then going here to create a component. This component is going to have rounded corners like 20 or so and there's going to be a variant. I'm going to select this plus icon. This variant is going to be called expanded and this variant is going to be called collapse, right? Both of these elements within these few frames, two variants, will be constraints to the centers of their respective frames. So I'm gonna select both of these, press enter, and then go constraints and center, center. Um, we're gonna make some more room for this. And then I'm gonna take the expanded variant and um, I'm gonna see how big this screen is. So that's 375 by 812. 375, 812. So the, the screen is so big that our map is actually too small for our purposes. I'm gonna just uh, make sure that this map is as tall as this frame. So that would be 812 pixels right here. 813, good enough. Um, same here, just expand it to the edges, right? Uh, and the last thing we need now is, is a button will enable us to go full screen. We're gonna use an ellipse tool and we're gonna make this 50 pixels black and we're gonna use a square with a stroke, no fill, press enter, select one of these and delete it so that we get this nice little corner right here. We just need a corner, that's it, right? Just a corner. Uh, we're gonna duplicate it like this and then like this, you see what I'm going for here, right? I want to create a, a full screen icon. I think this is too big. Why don't we go for eight, right? 
eight. Select those, tidy up. We can nicely, easily select these uh, spacings. I would go for six and six. This is actually gonna be white. And then select this one and paste it over this ellipse. I think four pixels is too strong. Let's go for three. Now we're gonna duplicate this, select one of those, delete this vertex and then remove the remaining ones rotate 45 degrees and just increase the size to 20 center against the circle duplicate flip right so we have two icons right here we have a full screen icon then we have a close icon now what we're gonna do now is i'm gonna press command and click these ellipses first of all i'm gonna go to effects and select background blur i'm gonna be setting that to 30 and also reducing the opacity of the fill to 60. and now i'm gonna select both of these actually i'm first i'm gonna group them so group one group two select this little arrow right here and create component set this will create a component with two variants this component is going to be called um, button and it's going to have two variants the property will be called uh, let's say function for example and the values are going to be full screen and close full screen and close now we can go to assets place that here awesome so this is what we get i think the background blur is too much why don't we go for let's try so you can see that at zero nothing is blurred but as we go up this road gets blurry as anything else i think actually yeah six will be enough actually that wasn't a good estimate from my side so if we demonstrate that on top of the icon yeah i think that's about right this will be glued to the top and right corner and here as well i'm gonna Whoops, I'm gonna copy this and paste it here. It'll be 10 pixels from the top and the right. And the function is gonna be close, actually, right? Okay, and the only thing that remains now, first of all, this will have to be moved a bit more towards center, approximately like this, because with the newest iPhones, you get the cutout in the top middle of the screen, right? So we want to optimize for that. You also get the top right corner mostly for um, showing time so i'm not sure if actually we can move it all the way to the corner but anyway uh, i'm gonna select this icon go to prototype and click and drag over here so on tap change to property one expand it and very important this needs to be smart animate ease out let's go for 300 milliseconds and uh, similar here select the cross click and drag on tap change to state collapse and the yeah, app that's about right um, now we need to do what exactly now first i'm going to launch the prototype so that you can see what you're what we will be getting figma is really cool with this because when you select a specific like a device like an iphone for example you get this image of an iphone so that's that's really nice we're gonna go for a midnight color midnight model cool what we need to do now is take the map component and click and drag it over here i'm going to center this or maybe position that about about here and then actually it would be best to position it into the very center just so that it's simpler so i'm going to center this absolutely also constrain this to the center and center so this is what you get you get an iphone with a map not surprisingly and then when you click this it expands but there is a problem why it sort of moves to expands but it doesn't fill up the whole screen i think the cause is because the constraint of this very uh, component left and top so maybe i suspect if we go for center and center and same here the problem will be fixed is it though maybe if we relaunch the prototype Okay, so um, obviously problems like this are a, are a part of the design process. We need to find a workaround. How do we do that? I think we should do the following. First, I'm going to remove the interactions from on the component level. So remove this and this, then duplicate the screen. On this screen, I'm going to select the component, 
and go to property expand it then I'm gonna center this against the screen and also remove the rounded corners from this variant and now the prototyping will be actually done here so I'm gonna select this icon click and drag mod animate and same here but the opposite direction now this should work and if it doesn't I think I'm out of options and I'm gonna end this tutorial right so this is what we get now we have a map we click and it expands the full screen then we can click again and it collapses right and we can play with play around with this a bit more we can move this for example to this position and i think we're gonna I think we're gonna move this icon to about here again i'm not sure if this is the convention but let's let's try it out uh reset yeah this feels way better so there you have it a very simple map expansion interaction in Figma on a mobile app hypothetical mobile app you get this button that you can click and it expands all over your screen and then you can collapse that again very simple yet effective additionally this map could be curl through right so you could when we click and drag, we could be moving around the map. Let's let's try that. How do we do that? That is done through something called overflow scrolling. And for that to work, we need to have something that is bigger than the actual container. Then we need to select that container, which in our case is the expanded variant of the map component. I'm gonna go to prototype, overflow scrolling, and select horizontal and vertical scrolling, right? So this should now make this scroll scrollable right we can navigate around the map that's very intuitive but as you can see this button is moving as well and i don't think that's something that we want so uh, how do we fix that that's very easy select this icon go to constraints and fixed position when scrolling now it should stay in one place which is exactly the case and i think we are happy with our result so this is the final result um, this is what you get you can expand and collapse the whole map you can swipe around and then just close it and move on thanks for watching leave a like if you enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next one